Buyers beware, you're in for a scare. We gotta talk about it, guys. Let's get into it. <laughs> up i like scary we are back i hope you all having an awesome day i'm having an awesome day it feels great to be a horror fan so you all today we're going to be you know talking about the new goosebumps tv series over on disney plus and um if you guys follow the channel you know i'm a huge goosebumps fan it's one of my favorite tv series i've been watching this show since i was you know a kid and it, it's really a big part of my life and you know how i became a horror fan so we got to review and talk about what we've seen. But before we get started, definitely smash the like button because it definitely helps. So, to get into, you know, what the plot is and everything with this and what's going on. Basically, a group of five high schoolers embark on a shadowy and twisted journey to investigate the tragic passing three decades earlier of a teen named Harold Biddle. While also unearthing dark secrets from their parents' past. So to get into it, guys, this is a Goosebumps TV series, obviously, and I'm gonna say one thing: it definitely it's a it's a good adaptation, adaptation to you know the the original Goosebumps series. But I feel it's definitely its own thing. It's definitely its own thing, and what I mean by that is, in a good way, it's like comfort horror. You know, it's comfort horror, and it is definitely darker than the original Goosebumps. I feel like okay, the original Goosebumps. It gave you this feeling, this open door to horror. It made you curious about the next level of horror. This one, it also does that, but it's, you know, it's kind of just in its own lane, if it makes sense. I even said this could have been, it could have been, I'm not saying it should be, it could have been its own TV series without the title Goosebumps. Like, this could have been something else, like in that category with like Riverdale and, you know, those type of TV series and Stranger Things, because... I'm not gonna lie, I am very invested into these kids. I love the Isaiah character, I love James. You know, they're very interesting. Also, even, you know, Isabella, the one that kind of starred in the Hunted Mask episode, I, I enjoyed their characters. They have definitely have a lot of depth in their characters and everything. And the first episode, Say Cheese and Die, was done very well. I feel like that elevation of an episode was crazy. The cinematography is out of this world. Like. For it to be a TV series, and at that, a Goosebump TV series, it definitely took a big jump. The soundtrack is definitely modern. It kind of threw me off when we heard Sam Smith, um, you know, opening up that episode of Say Cheese and Die. But, I mean, that's the day and age we live in right now, so you got to accept it. And I feel like this is a great, you know, Goosebumps TV series and adaptation for the new generation. I think the new generation... Or they are loving this, including myself. I love it. I like it. You know, a lot of people kind of standing back from it's not the original, but it shouldn't be the original because it's its own thing. It's different stories to tell and stuff like that. This is just, you know, the start of the series. I'm loving it. I really like it. Seriously. Um, I cannot wait to watch the other episodes um, when they come out. But to get into it, Say Cheese and Die, that was one of the better episodes. The whole story with... Uh, Harold and Isaiah, you know, with the camera. And I'm going to tell you guys something. Someone that is killing their role in this story is Justin Long as Mr. Brat. Oh, my God. Justin Long, man, he deserves some type of award. The, the, the execution he does in every role, like Barbarian, Jeepers Creepers, he kills it. He just nails it. You believe that Justin Long is in that situation every time. And he, it definitely is like a – his character is definitely like kind of like a watered-down – you know, bar the, how he was in Barbarian. He's definitely, you can feel that Barbarian vibe with his character. But he definitely 
is selling his role. I'm real invested in Justin Long's character as Mr. Brat and how he's bouncing off energy with Isaiah at times. It's creepy, man. He's bringing like this creepy essence to this character. And um, yeah, Say Cheese and Die was definitely one of the better episodes. And I like how it was done. I feel like when you go through, some of them start getting a little cheesy. But this one was, it felt like a horror film. Like that could have been a horror film alone that episode. But I definitely dig Isaiah's character. When I first seen him on screen, I was like, man, I think he's going to be corny, man. Like, I don't know. But he kind of made up for it later through the, the episode of Say Cheese and Die. And now I'm invested in that character. He's doing a great job, in my opinion. And I like what I think I'm seeing. And then we have another character named Margo that uh, it got something going on. Him and Margo obviously got something in the air, but they're just not taking an extra step. But I think her character, you know, it's kind of standoffish. But I think eventually her character is going to elevate. Now, a character that I do really enjoy is James, man. James, he's a funny guy. And um, I really do think that this character is definitely interesting. I like the the, the, um, the episode with them. And they had, like, the doppelgangers and stuff like that. And he kept seeing himself with the cuckoo clock. That's another good episode. But it's not better than Sage Heese and Die, in my opinion. But I definitely liked how they had the doppelgangers and everything. And they're hitting them and they're splatting with goo and stuff. But James is definitely an interesting character, um, in my opinion. Like, just jumping from episode to episode. You got to peep the stuff he says and do. I really, I really love James' character. Um, but... To one of my favorite, well, my favorite episode of all time, even in the old franchise, The Hunted Mask. Did it hit the point that I thought it should have hit? Um, sorta, you know, sorta. I think for the new generation, this is definitely a good adaptation to The Hunted Mask. It's a very interesting story, but when I saw that baby doll like vacuum mask, I was confused because I just knew they're gonna use that ghoul and goblin look. Um, you know, but I feel like this is one thing that we all mess up with. We never give things a chance. So I sat down and gave it a chance. And once Isabella put the mask on and you can see her eyes, I'm like, oh, shit, this looks scary. It actually looks scary, bro. Like on a bed and everything and on that stand, it looked weird. But when she puts it on, it was actually creepy, bro. And I'm still kind of thrown off because I'm like, okay, it's just a baby doll mask. But when she was, you can see her eyes moving inside. I don't know if they enhanced it or something. It definitely looked creepy. But to push forward, we actually get like this little cameo of that, you know, Carly Beth look, which I was hyped. And they kind of made it like flesh tone. It was like connected to her skin, that ghoul and goblin look. I really liked that, like how she was running around. And I even, I thought that part was creepy too when Isabella had the hoodie on. And I'm like, oh my, this is creepy. You know, but I like the story. It was like a new generation hunting mask. Hopefully get the hunting mask too like they did in the original series. But Isabella, I really enjoy her character in the hunting mask episode. And hunting mask episodes between that and Say Cheese and Die, uh, by far, one of my they were one of my favorites. You know, we got the Night of the Living Dummy also. And we do we do see that Slappy looks a little different. Um, He looks a little bit more updated. It kind of looks like the Billy doll from Dead Silence. Um, if you guys ever seen that, and in my opinion, kind of like they kind of got they pull ideas from that doll. Um, some people said he looked like Vince McMahon. Um, I definitely, I'm not gonna lie, I definitely like what I'm seeing so far. I'm really enjoying it. And the characters, you really invest in this group. You really enjoy this group. I feel like with this group, it is seriously like, okay, they're they're having their own problems on the side and things are going on with their parents and their parents have a past obviously with this story that kicks off of say cheese and die and i like how this is very different how they're incorporating all the stories the bits and pieces to every story on and off you know on and off on and off and it's connecting through say cheese and die and it's connecting through the cuckoo clock and the hunted mask and you know all these stories i think that is super cool that they're doing it that way and it's not just separate stories like an anthology which i would like that way too but i like how they're connecting through these different vines and kind of revealing things and clues and i'm liking it so far it's like this one big world that's connected to this one problem i think that's very cool can't wait to see more of justin long and um you know the other characters but comment down below you all have you been enjoying the new goosebumps tv series personally for me i have i'm really enjoying it this is something i will be looking forward to watching every time i drop a new episode and i will be covering it here for you guys um here on the channel comment down below if you guys you know had some good moments in this tv series that you liked uh let me know in the chat also comment if you want me to keep covering this tv series the goosebumps tv series and like i said one more thing before we get off 
Bro, it actually has some scary moments. I'm not going to lie. Some of them, for this to be goosebumps, like that scene where you see like Harold standing in the hallways and everything here and there, just like, just still, and he's not moving. Then when you see him, it's like you got, you see the fire and everything in his face. He's becoming like a fire type of figure. That whole football sequence with, you know, um, Isaiah on a field after he saw his injury and he breaks his arm. That scene was creepy. It's like he was playing football in hell. That was really creepy. I'm not going to lie. They got some creepy sequences in here even some stuff in the hunting mask that was creepy so yeah you guys comment down below but unfortunately this is the end of the video don't forget to hit me on my social media i like scary on instagram i like scary underscore on tiktok brand now on facebook i like scary on twitter and yeah you guys right there where it says join definitely think about clicking join to become a member of the channel also check out patreon get exclusive content and benefits of the channel and yeah you guys i want you to watch some horror movies stay scary out there i love you all peace until next time